Hey, champ. Come on in. Come on in. Take a seat. Sit down. Sit down. No, you're not disturbing. You're not disturbing at all. I was just doing dad things. Because I'm a dad. I'm your dad. So what were you doing, child of mine? Because I'm your dad. I see. I see. Mm. Yeah, well... I called you in here. Because we need to have quite a serious discussion. Okay, it's about me and your mum. She's fine. She's fine. She's just uh, moved away for a little bit. Yeah, she's just moved away for a little bit. Um, but she's going to be fine. Um, take a seat. Do you know what divorce is? Hmm. It's when a man and a woman, or a man, it's when a married couple, when, when, when a married couple decide that they don't love each other anymore. And that could be for a, for a variety of reasons. Uh, and they think it'd be better if they were no longer married. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're correct. That that that's why that's why mum's moved away. Yeah. Because um we, we decided to, to to get a divorce. Mm. I know there's probably a lot of questions going through your mind, and that's completely understandable. Um I think it'd be best now if we if we talk through those and sort of um, alleviate any concerns or questions that you might have. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I knew you'd ask that. I knew that's the first thing. That's the first thing they ask. Um, is this my fault? Um, yes. Yeah, it's completely your fault. Um, if it wasn't for you, um, we'd still be happily married. I'd still be happy. Um, she'd still be happy and she wouldn't have lost all the sort of light and life of her eyes as she has done these past four or five years. Mm. No, don't cry. Don't cry. The damage has been done. Mm -hmm. Crying any further would just cement the inevitable. Okay. So no, no need to cry. No need to cry. Okay, so I think it's quite important uh, at this point to... Uh, to reflect, to debrief, if you will, on uh, just what happened, just the events leading up to, just so you understand what you've done. Um, so me, me and your mother, we got married probably about 20 years ago. Um, it was great. It was fantastic. Um, we were doing lots of really fun things, going on adventures, trips, traveling. Um, we had so much disposable income back then. And then, yeah, we always said we didn't want kids, we wanted to live like this forever, but, you know, curiosity got the better of us. It could only improve our relationship, we thought. So, um, five years ago, we decided to start trying for a kid. I think on reflection, it was the, the worst mistake we've ever made in our lives. Yeah, um, we had you. Um, then, things really went downhill. Hmm. Um, I think, I think that what you could be thinking is, um, what it, was it me specifically, or was it just the fact you had a kid? It was you specifically. Any other kid, I think, would have been fine. But you, something about you, the way you are, just didn't gel well. We just didn't gel well. Obviously, we can't give you back. God, we tried, but um, we couldn't give you back. Um just the way you are, just the way you be. Um, it, it, began to tell, it began to tear your mother apart, and in turn tore me apart. Uh, we tried to change you, uh, make you better, but, you know, nature has its own way and its own power of doing things, and sometimes you're powerless to the forces of nature, and that's why you're here. That's why we're having this conversation. Because of you. Hmm. Um, so yeah, we, we, we tried, we tried a lot of stuff to repair the marriage. Um, we started swinging, dogging, uh, you went to a chess club, nothing, nothing. I was dead. I was cold. All we were reminded of was what we created, what we brought into this world and what one day your mother fears she'll have to take it out of it. 
Now, she said that when she was quite drunk. So don't take that entirely to heart, but there is a strong chance that one day your mother will turn up and try and destroy you. Um, and, I, and I can't guarantee I'm going to be there to protect you. Mm. Uh, because I don't want to. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of why we're getting the divorce. It's because of you. Mm. Which is a shame. Um, we've tried to put you up for adoption. No, I'll have you. We didn't want to tell you, but no, it's they take anyone. They take literally anyone, and they wouldn't take you, which is a shame. Um, we tried to put you back in there, maybe to regrow a different baby, but you just wouldn't fit. Um, and also, we're not entirely sure that's how the science works. That's there. Uh, what else is there? We um. We contacted a priest uh, just to try and exercise you, see if there was any demons in there. We're sure there weren't. You're just annoying, which is a shame. Because I think if, if there was, if it was the fault of demons, we could then at least destroy the demons. But no demons. No demons. I'll be honest with you. I'm at my wit's end. I'm on my last tether. Just looking at you right now is making me feel sick in my mouth. Mm. Uh, Mum's probably not going to talk to me again. I'm not going to talk to her again. Um, they, they say that no good marriages end in divorce. Because obviously if, you, if you've got divorced, then there was something wrong in the marriage. And for at least one person and you can't have a good marriage if only one person is happy we were both happy and we got divorced because of you how does that make you feel how does that make you feel yeah it should it should What can I say? If only, if only if you've been, if only you've been a better kid. That's the question. That's 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 the situation. If only you've been a better kid. Maybe if you if you'd been a better kid, none of this would have happened. Your mother and I would still be happy. She'd be off the drugs, and we'd still be together. And we'd be, we'd be enjoying our company and our time with you, but no, no. So here's what I've done. I've packed your bags. They're by the door. You got a sleeping bag, twenty pounds in cash, and uh, some 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 rations. This is rations to some food. It'll last you about a week. And a tent. You're what they would consider a wolf baby now. I want you to go live with the wolves. Become one of them. Learn their feral ways. Learn to survive in the wild. Because God, it's the only way you're going to survive in this world if it's by the wolves. Mm. That's what I need you to do. Because you're no longer welcome here. In ten years time, you may visit... And if you build, I mean, if you bring your sort of wolf compatriots with you, so it can be like our family, well, my family, meeting yours, and we shall amicably bow our heads in recognition for what's happened, and then go our separate way, never to see each other or contact each other again. Hmm. That's the offer. I would say take it or leave it, but you haven't really got much of a choice. Take it or I'll make you take it. I'll just throw you out the front and lock the door. You haven't got a key, you're five years old. So, look, it, it can't be that hard. It really can't be that hard to survive out there. Ray Mears did it. 
back rails did it. Mm. Look, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Don't think too much about it. All right, go on, go. Go, 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 go. All right, bye. Yep, see ya, bye. Bye, 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 bye. bye. Poor kid.